Hey there guys, uh, there's a lot of liveries out there for the Captain Sim 777-200, but unfortunately almost all of them that you'll find on the internet are for the old original model that only works in FSX through uh, Prepared Version 3. The one in uh, Prepared Version 4 is a brand new model, it's 64-bit, and uh, your textures won't just work if you try to plug them in the way you traditionally would, and they won't install properly with the Ace utility that you usually use to install Captain Sim textures. So I'm going to show you how we go in and uh, take any texture that you'd like off of AvSim or Captain Sim's website for the older model and get it to work on your new 777. So we're going to use Adobe Photoshop, which you have to be a little handy with to do this, and uh, DXT Bump. I will post a link to this program. It's a free program for modifying textures. So first thing, download a texture, which I did. We downloaded this Singapore Airlines 777-200 and you look at the tail number which you can either find in a photo or it should be in the readme usually under the ATC ID so we googled that to see what the engine variant is and uh, either air fleets or plane spotters both good resources for this the engines are two Rolls-Royce Trent Rolls-Royce uh, Trent 892's now unfortunately there are less models included here with the prepared version 4 triple seven then captain sim had included with the original triple seven two hundred uh, only the er and lr models are included there is no standard triple seven two hundred like the ones that were delivered in the mid 90s to the launch customers like united singapore airlines and so on and there's also no royce rice uh, version of the triple seven two hundred so we'll have to compromise so this is the main prepared folder sim objects airplanes you can either type CS in the search bar or scroll down and uh, here's your captain sim products I'll start with the CS unless you've changed the name so we're just gonna have to pick a random variant usually you'd hopefully find the right variant in here and not have to pick a fake one but in this case we'll do the GE 90 B since we don't have Rolls-Royce engines next thing you're gonna do click on a texture that's been properly installed with the ace or uh, uh, however whatever texture you've downloaded through the regular channels and installed the proper way through the ACE software. And we have this example, Air France, here. So if we open up the Singapore folder, you can see we have way more textures in here than we have for the Air France. We don't need those. So what we're going to do is we are going to simply delete everything we don't need. So now Let's see, we match up two, three, four, six, five, we don't need six, seven. Okay, cool. So now the textures are matched up. And the model is similar enough that, to be honest with you, most of these won't require any modification. They'll actually work just fine. But uh, what we are going to need to modify is uh, the engines, since we are using different engines. So what we're going to do here is take the program DXT Bump because you try to open a DXT file in Photoshop, it won't let you. So what we do is first we're going to take this Air France engine texture. We'll just give it a second to load there. It's a very high resolution um, texture. Normally these things would load a lot quicker than that and now it's going all haywire and we're gonna save it as a 24-bit BMP image okay so now you have two and we need the one yeah the BMP file so we're gonna open that one in Photoshop and just minimize that for now and now we're gonna do the same thing to our Singapore Airlines engines And we're going to just save that as 24 bit. And then we're going to open it. All right. So now here's what we do just select the part down here, the bottom part of the engines, and copy it. So just, I did Control C. You could also do Edit Copy, whatever you want. And then now we're going to come in here and paste just because I want to show you something so look at the difference in size 
the resolution is so much higher on the version 4 model that <laughs> it's it just doesn't really match up I mean you could just stretch it out if you want but I don't like to do that so I'll show you what uh, the more precise way uh, don't apply I'll show you the more precise way to take care of this so image size will tell us it's 496 by 496 so what we want to do is we want to make this one 4096 by 4096 so we've done that. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mess with on the right side here the opacity. See the opacity changes this. So we want to make sure everything is matched up to the best of our ability. And I believe this is close enough so all we really care about is the engines themselves because everything else so I'm really not paying attention to this stuff I'm just trying to yeah there we go I'm just trying to make sure this stuff looks more or less matched up and then as for all this just because we don't want to complicate things we can actually delete that part of it all right now we change the opacity to 100 percent and flatten the image and then we're going to save as this guy right here which is the original Air France engines 24 bit B dot BMP is what you save it as all right and then now what we do is we'll delete both of these the 7776T we don't need that We'll take the .bmp from the Air France one and see the difference here. Here's the original Air France. Here's what we turned it into. We'll paste that. And now we put it back into DXT BMP because we are going to save it again in prepared format, which would be DDS texture, DDS DXT5. okay now we delete it and the last step take this texture and replace it with this one because this will link to all the FSX textures which we don't have replacing the texture.cfg will ensure that this texture goes and uh, collects all the required uh, other textures so that you see the cockpit and everything the way it's supposed to look so now it becomes pretty straightforward oh it's open another program we'll have to close that Okay, so now the Singapore texture is in there. And then we go through here. And before we copy it over, let me get rid of this, get rid of this. All right, so we're gonna name it uh, Captain Singapore 2000s, okay? So now we need to make sure everything matches up in the CFG. So see the sim, it relates to the .air file. So the fastest way to do this, just rename and copy if you hit rename it'll automatically select the name and you can just copy so we'll paste that model it's not called model.200 which would be 200 here it's just model so get rid of that texture Singapore Singapore okay everything looks good so now we copy it go to the aircraft CFG and Go ahead and paste that in. Make it number four, because that's number three. So the next in sequence, excuse me, would be number four. Save it. And just like that, we are pretty much done here.